Poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Again we are back here on the Biffa Tech server. And I said we were going to be working on some statues for people. And we are! So let's get right into that.
So I hope you enjoyed those statues that we got to. Uh, we're going to be getting to some more as we progress in the series. Each one of these guys took me about a half hour each in order to construct. Uh, Beano's I already put in 
in front of his little spawn house, which is actually where, where we are going to head. Um, these statues that we have here, we're going to make houses for these people. And we're going to put them in plots that uh, we're building around the mountain here. That was unintentional, but this is the level that I wanted to get onto. Um, I've been putting around some plots, numbering them off, putting up a little area. This is just a, uh, uh, what is it, temporary zoning area. It can be a little bit bigger, it can be a little bit smaller, but I'm going to start here, you know, plot one, got the waterfall. It's on the mainly vanilla area, and mainly vanilla tech area and it overlooks the three spires which we're going to into, turn into some type of like mm, a natural stonehenge worship place or something like that uh, but yeah it looks awesome with all these uh, floaty little islands here so it overlooks this area this little mystic area we're gonna have a path eventually uh, that leads up to that and we're going to have a designated pool rather than just run off water um, yeah, we got some more plots. There's there's some plots scattered all over the place. A couple plots up there. There's actually a couple plots that are down there underneath the mountain. I'm just sporadically putting them around. I'm not going to put one on top of the mountain. I think I'm going to keep that one for a different project. I want to have a couple plots right down there by the river. Um... So those are what we're going to do for the people's houses for the statues that we have inside of here. Um, the people that are not on the Bifitech server. Um, if you're already on the Bifitech server, well, you don't get a house inside of my area. Unless you ask nicely. Um, I did notice that when I was building these plots around here, that there were little spots that possibly uh, monsters could be spawning. And I needed to get that illumination thingy that uh, my sword had in the previous series that made these glow balls here. And they're nice, they're nearly invisible, and they light up the same amount of, as a torch. And I found a recipe to make glow balls, which is basically one glowstone and eight snowballs, which makes eight glow balls. And I can just toss these in spots where I think that... Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. It's lit up. That I think monsters are going to um, are going to spawn. All right. And yeah, I don't have to climb up there or anything. I can just toss the ball, and it lights things up. Let's see here if I can get it right on one of these floaty islands over there. Perfect. Haha! <laughs> Did you see that? And it updated things down there. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, that is so cool! So cool! Alright, so, we are going to head over to Bino's place, uh, where we have his statue set up. And we're going to take a look at his uh, spawn house. Uh, if at any time we actually get to his house house, then we will take a look at take a look at that. But I don't think I know exactly where Bino's place is. Let's see here, waypoints... No, I do not. Um, I did have somebody comment last time that there is a warp end. Oh, oh good. <gasps> yes, all right. Awesome. Ender lilies, perfect. I need at least one of these flipping things. Awesome. And some end stone, which apparently I can't pick with an iron pick and I have to go back to um I have to go back to my home and I'm gonna have to get a bunch of ender pearls that way because I don't have a way of getting any uh ender pearls other than the ender lilies uh do 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 wow it's dark here oh I should uh slash home I should grab those glasses oh home Luca. No wonder I'm not moving. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, do do Glasses. Perfect. Alright, and is it nighttime yet? Is it getting nighttime yet? Yes, it is. It's almost nighttime yet. Let's plop these babies on and head over to spawn. 
Awesome. And do 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 do. Yep, sun is eventually going to be heading down really soon here. Um, I went around and grabbed uh, the patterns of everybody's uh, statue around here so that way I can recreate them later if I need to. Thankfully, when I do a uh, a pattern of anything inside of Chisel and Bit that I can just hit the, um, the shift over the button, shift over the pattern, and it will... It will uh, tell me every single block that is inside of the design, so it should be easy to redo. You have a zombie head here. Um, Bino has made his place into a uh, little uh, worship. I th I, there's a sign in there that says it. But yeah, we have the we have the statue up here. I'm kind of proud of actually this statue because I was looking at his skin and. I thought that this was going to be the hardest one to make, and it was, it was, but it was really fun to make. Uh, I got to use all of those liquids that I really wanted to use, uh, such as the lava in there and uh, the energized glowstone, uh, and also the destabilized redstone. So we got like three different liquids that are flowing in here. This uh, lava monster skin that he has uh, for himself, looking really good. The yeah, there's a bunch of nether items in here as well, like nether brick, uh, blood stains, brick as well, um, just black concrete, and yeah, the nether and the energized glowstone, which are also from the nether. So yeah. A nether-esque monster thing, and he has, what is this called? Bino's Temple, that's what it's called. And he has a Visocrat Azuloth, Azuloth, Azathoth, Azath, Azathoth statue. Uh-huh. I know there's a Catholite or something like that that looks like a Cthulhu statue, but I have no idea what, the, what an Azathoth is. And then as a sloth, sloth and as a thought. That's, that's a really hard word to say. But yep, he has a pistol craft, chisel bricks. Looks nice. Dark, evil, glowing, lobby. Goes along with his skin. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And his place is right next to mine, so I don't know. I kind of had to do his uh, statue first for. Um, the first statue that I did for pe residents on this server. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the first one. <laughs> no, the first one I did was Biffa, and then uh, Omega, and then Leosar. He's the fourth one. So Biffa, first one. Well, I guess that's very appropriate. So all right, now we gotta get another statue for this for somebody else's plot around here. But we're gonna be doing that next episode. Um, I'm going to check to see how much time we have left on this episode, but I think we're running fast out of time. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, so much better in, in the end with these glasses on. Aha! Good. I can actually dig these things up. Awesome. Okay, so with that being the, uh, the last thing that we are going to do inside of this Inside of this episode, next episode we're going to be doing some more statues and taking a look at other people's plots and or bases. So, until next time y'all, this is the Puka, signing out.